Welcome back for another video. I'm Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies like me and like you. And in this video I'm going to show you how to do some really cool stuff using Beaver Builder. And I built this the other day and I thought, wow, I'm going to make a video to show this to people because I think it is just so cool. So sometimes you have a web page that has just a lot of content, right? There's just, it's just a long page of content and you might be tempted to break it up into different pages. But what I've noticed is longer content seems to rank a little better in Google and why not have it on one page? So I made this very large page right here and you can see there's different rows and different sections. And what I built was this navigation here. I call it a sub nav and it sticks to the browser window when you scroll down. So see when I start scrolling, it just sticks there. And what I really like about it is I put in this uh, call to action here on the right. Uh, there's two different options to get started or to contact and uh, it's just very nice way to, to, to remind people of what they're gonna do next and making it real convenient for them to go around your page. So for instance, if I wanna skip through to the philosophy section, I can just click on it and it just scrolls you right there or the vision right there, mission, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did this in this video. Now to get anything to stick, there's this really cool plugin I added that allows you to do it real easy. So what you'd wanna do is go and install this plugin and it's right here under plugins. Now I've already installed the plugin and it's right here, it's got the craziest name sticky menu or anything exclamation point on scroll crazy name and you probably got to do a search exactly for that so if you go to add new and you go like that and hit enter i bet if you just hit sticky menu you would see it there it is right there let's see if i just tend to okay there it is so just do a search for sticky menu and then you could go ahead and install it and then when you install it let's go into the settings for it so you go to settings and you'll have a new option there that says sticky menu. Now this is the only setting I put in. We need to put a what's called a class. Now you don't have to be super technical. All you need to know is that when we put the class here, we're going to put it also on what we want to stick. Okay, so it could be very complicated explaining all this technical mumbo jumbo, but all you need to know is we're going to put a class here. And so it's going to be what I did is I put period sub nav. Okay, it needs to start with a period. And why don't you just use the same thing, put a period and type sub nav or stick sticky or whatever you want it and then go ahead and click on save settings so now I want to show you how I built this okay so I'm gonna go ahead and enter the page builder for beaver builder now before I do that you'll notice that there's some real flashiness going on where I hover over the menu and we get this nice animation we get the color changing and then this area here it's just beautiful how it's the dual button and I have it say or right in the middle. Um, I want to show you first how I'm getting these elements in here. Now I am chose to use a tool to do that. You can you don't need to use this tool but I used it because I like a little bit of flair on my website like this and I like just the designs and I want it as easy as possible. Uh, there's a new plugin that was just released and it's called Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder. I'll have a link on it down below and I bought this, it just came out. It allows you to have a whole bunch of new modules into Beaver Builder and it'll work on the free version or the paid version. And it also has these pre-designed sections. So you can just, I want a contact section, just drag and drop it in. And they're also gonna be releasing full page templates at some point in the future here. And so uh, right here is uh, one, actually let me just show you a list of the modules. Here's a list of all the new modules it adds right here. 
and uh, you can see here some of the different uh, page uh, row templates right here and page templates that are coming out soon but I just use the module so uh, what I used is this thing called a creative menu and there's 18 different styles and I just happen to use style 18 right here so I'm going to show you how I did that and then for the button I also used it from the ultimate add-ons and it's called the dual button which I, I kind of like little things like that um, so let me show you how I did that. So I'm on the page and I'm going to click on page builder and this is going to put me into the beaver builder page builder. Now you're going to see some new options there because I'm using this plugin but like I said you don't have to use this plugin and this sticky element thing will work on the free version or the paid version of beaver builder. This video is for everybody. Uh, so ultimate add-ons adds this sections button right here and it also adds this ultimate add-ons right here when you click on it you get all these add-ons when you click on sections they're all broken up and organized like here and you just drag and drop your section in so anyways this isn't about that plugin though so all I did is I created a new row and let me show you what I did to that row I'm gonna click on row settings and advanced and I'm gonna scroll down and that's where I put that class that I added to this sticky plugin subnav so right here you're not gonna put the period but if you did I'm sure it gets stripped out and that's what is gonna tell that plugin that this row is what needs to stick and that's really as simple as that now I'll show you something else uh, a lot of people don't know how to make on-page navigation links. That's where you click on the link and it just scrolls you down on the page. A lot of people don't know how to do that, but I'm going to show you in this uh, uh, right now. So here is a section that it ties to where it says who we are. So I'm going to click on it. So what I'm doing is when someone clicks on who we are, I wanted to go straight to this our staff section of the page. So I'm going to click on it, I'm going to go to advanced, and I'm going to scroll down, and what you do is you just assign it an ID. So I assigned it who we are, all with hyphens, okay? So I'm going to click on cancel. So I assign an ID, and then on your menu item, which is right here, you put your link in, which is the page you're on, the hash sign, and then that ID you created. So here is the menu item. I'm going to click on edit. And you can see for the link, I put hashtag or pound, and then that ID that I put in. And that tells uh, this link to scroll down the page to where that ID is. And I did that for each of these items. So if you look on mission right here, if I click on it, you'll see I created the ID for it, our mission right here our mission and that corresponds with this link right here for our mission so you can manually cr drop a row in make it full width put a color and then just manually create these hyperlinks to create your menu if you don't want these fancy styles that you get with ultimate add-ons and the same thing with here you can just drag a text box there and put a button in and that's it if you don't want this fancy style of a button right here and that's pretty much all there was to creating this elegant way of navigating a long page with different sections on it and to also have this call to action in the top right corner so that's pretty much it now I'm sure we can make anything stick and I had this idea what if we didn't want a uh, menu we just wanted when someone scrolls that call to action to be on the top right so I'm doing this off the cuff I'm gonna go ahead and delete my menu like that now my menu is gone and I just have that and let me remove this color on the background so I'm gonna go into the row settings and the background is set to a color I'm gonna make it none like that and then I'm going to save it and uh, let's see so now what happens when I scroll 
that should just be the only thing that sticks. So let's go ahead and click on done and publish changes. I'm doing this off the cuff. I just thought it might be fun. And uh, there it is. Now I don't have my navigation. I just wanted to create a sticky kind of uh, this right here. And there it is. And there it sticks. That, that would actually be really cool for any business. You can have maybe a call us and then a phone number or a request an appointment or something. And then you could just make that hover and float right there like that. Isn't that cool? I actually like that a lot. I think I'll use that on some projects. So anyways, I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be. If you want to look at ultimate add-ons, I have a link down below to that. And you can check out all the modules for yourself. Uh, it's actually really cool. You can just click on any of these modules to see what they do. For instance, right here, I just hovered on it is the dual button. And you can see there's the dual button I used. But they have lots of other different ways of formatting these. And it's a super flexible package. But like I said, you don't need um, the paid version of Beaver Builder. You don't need ultimate add-ons. It's just something to make it look a little nicer than it would otherwise. Hey, really quick, can you do something for me? If you're watching this on YouTube, can you give me a thumbs up? And I wanna invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a button right beneath me, and I'd really appreciate it if you did that. And I've got something for you. I don't want you to leave empty-handed. If you just click off here to the side, it's a free video course that I put together just for you called the three steps to WordPress success. You will love this course. Registration is free right now. All you have to do is click on the link right next to me. Hey, thanks for spending this time with me and I can't wait to make another video for you.